Hey everyone, what is going on? My name is LaPrentice Sampson and I help health conscious consumers eliminate toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, you asked for it, Arrowhead versus Nestle Pure Life. We're gonna test these wires to find out which one is best, all right? So, if you're curious about what we're gonna be testing it for, we're gonna be testing for three properties, all right? The first one's antioxidants, the second one is alkalinity, and the third one I like to call superior hydration. Now, if you are serious about your health, and I believe you are, you're gonna wanna hit that like or subscribe button that's somewhere around here so you can get notifications on when I put other videos out about these products that we can ultimately remove from our life. Also, I have an awesome resource for you. It is about the five key properties of a healthy water that you must know. So, if you watch this video and you learn something and you want to learn more about those, feel free to definitely find that link below in the description so you can get access to that resource. Without further ado, let's get started. So that first property we're gonna test out for is antioxidants. There are so many oxidizing things around us, right? And so if you bite into an apple and you let it sit, it starts to rust, right? That is oxidation happening in real time. And so we're consuming in this air, we're consuming, um, acidic foods or consuming in um, our cell phones and all the technology around us and all that creates rust in our body right and it creates our cells um, a way to get into a state of oxidation oxidation leads to inflammation and this vicious cycle is linked to every health concern known to man so every health issue we end up having is linked to inflammation and oxidation any type of itis you have um, is a form of inflammation so we want our water to be full of antioxidants because it's going to be negatively charged, it's gonna reduce that inflammation, and it's gonna be reducing that aging so we can essentially look as young and as useful as ever, all right? So, real quick, we're gonna go ahead and open up this Arrowhead water. And then we are going to open up this Nestle Pure Life water. And we're gonna see which one is better. And we're gonna test for antioxidants, all right? So, oxidants, things that are oxidizing for us are positively charged, and they create sickness and aging in the body. And something that is an antioxidant is negatively charged, and it promotes health and reduces the inflammation and oxidation and pushes those toxins out. We're gonna use this ORP meter, and that stands for oxidation reduction potential, or if you say it backwards, a potential to reduce oxidation. And we're gonna see if that number shows up positive or negative here, and it'll let us know if it's actually um, helping us or harming our health. All right, so let's take a look at this one first, which is Arrowhead. We'll see what we see. Not sure if you can see that, but it looks like we have a positive number, right? So that means it's creating oxidation and aging in the body. And right now it's sitting at 252. All right, so let's go ahead and test Nestle Pure Life. All right, this one's also creating oxidation and aging in the body and it is actually almost at a 270, all right? So both of these are creating aging in the body, oxidation, so it's gonna lead to more health issues. Uh, but right now it looks like Nestle Pure Life is better than Arrowhead in this instance, all right? Now, you're probably wondering, is there something that actually shows up negative? And there actually is. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, this water right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this in here. And we're gonna test the properties of this one. We're gonna test the ORP of this one and see how it comes out. See if you can see that. Hopefully you can. All right, so this one is showing up as a negative 830. So this one is full of antioxidizing properties and it's gonna end up pushing out those toxins, making sure you reduce that inflammation and aging and essentially it's gonna keep you looking younger. All right, so I just wanted to show you that there is water out there that is actually good. And that's one of the properties we talk about in that resource. All right, now we are on to the second test 
of our Arrowhead versus Nestle Pure Life water battle. And that is, we're gonna test for alkalinity. Now, alkalinity is really a byproduct of what's in these waters and how the water is treated. But alkalinity is great for us because we want to consume things that are definitely alkaline for our body. Our body must remain in a slightly alkaline environment to prevent cancerous, acidic issues from occurring in the body, all right? So what we're gonna use is we're gonna use these pH drops, all right? And the pH stands for potential hydrogen. We're gonna put a few drops in here. We're gonna see what color it turns. So if it turns a red, a orange, or a yellow, that means it is acidic. It's actually eating the electrolytes that our body actually needs to uh, survive and function. However, if you see a blue, a purple, a dark purple, that means it is alkaline. And that means it is actually promoting our body to have an alkaline environment, all right? So we're just gonna go ahead and put a few drops in these. All right, so <laughs> after putting a few drops, we can see that Arrowhead is showing a, a beautiful blue color. And it makes sense, right? This is spring water. So they're literally taking this water from a spring, they are filtering it, and then putting the rest of that into a bottle, all right? Our <laughs> Nestle Pure Life water here is a seven, it's neutral, so it's about the same as your tap water. Um, this is done through reverse osmosis, and they are putting chemicals into this water. So a few of the things that they're putting in this water is calcium chloride, right? And that is salt that is used to de-ice the roads. So just think about that for a moment. That's a little bit of what's in this water. Uh, you have sodium bicarbonate, which is essentially baking soda. That's also being added into this water. You have magnesium sulfate, which is an Epsom salt. Um, is used as Epsom salts in your, in your baths and stuff. So keep that in mind. And this is done um, after this water goes through reverse osmosis. So just picture that. We're gonna have all the healthy water um, that has all the healthy minerals in it. We're gonna remove all the bad stuff and the good stuff. And then we're gonna add in extra stuff. So uh, we're gonna add extra inorganic minerals that our body isn't able to process. So right now on this stage, I would say that uh, Arrowhead is doing better than Nestle Pure Life. And so you're wondering, hold on, is there a water that actually shows up in those purple ranges? There is. And it's not adding anything to the water. And it is this mystery water that we have here. Once again, another good property of a healthy water is this alkalinity. All right. And so we want to be careful, though, because there are bottled waters that actually put stuff in them to make them appear alkaline when they aren't really. So just keep that in mind. But this is our second test, and that was alkalinity. All right, we are on to that final test, superior hydration. Have you ever um, noticed when you drink a lot of water and just sits in your stomach? You're like, hold on, wait a minute. Why did I drink all this water, and yet I'm still not feeling hydrated? Right? Our water should be able to penetrate our cells and hydrate us at a cellular level. And so the best way for me to show that is using tea, right? So what I have here is some tea, and if the water is actually small enough, if it's actually the right size, which is what we're kind of looking at here, it's gonna actually be small enough to pass through the tea bag and make tea. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, LaPrentice, there's no way that's possible. Everyone knows in order to make tea, you have to boil it. Well, why are we boiling it? We're boiling it because we're making the water small enough to actually pass through and pull a nutrient from the tea bag, right? So picture this tea bag as you being dehydrated, and that's what it is. The leaves that have been extracted, all the water's been extracted out of the leaves, and so now we're gonna add that water to, to hydrate them again, right? So let's check out uh, Arrowhead. All right, so, and this is kind of what happens, right? The, the bag kind of floats up and we kind of feel the same way. We feel bloated. Um, we're just, everything's sitting there. We can't do jumping jacks or anything we want. So uh, let me go ahead and try uh, Nestle Pure Life. All right, we're getting the same thing. So it looks like neither one of these waters are really hydrating us here. 
Um, so it's probably a good reason why we're, oh, we're getting a little bit from Nestle Pure Life. So let me go ahead and try this other water that we have here and see what we get. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it immediately started pulling the nutrients out from the tea and we're able to get um, some tea. So let's see what happens if we try it again, just to make sure this wasn't a trick. Um, so we'll go ahead and try the Arrowhead water. This is spring water. All right, so it's making a little bit. It's probably the residual that came from this last one that we did here. We're able to pull some of the nutrients through, right? All right, so let me try this one more time with the Nestle Pure Life. Nestle Pure Life does have some smaller perks of the water, so it looks like it is actually able to make a little bit of tea, but nowhere near as strong or as potent as this water that we have here. So, uh, I would say Nestle Pure Life may be better, but ultimately I feel they're the same. Like they're both the same quality. If we look at them right here, they're both the same. So, um, <laughs> in this battle, actually let's go ahead and see something real quick. I just want to test, test something really quick. Huh. Even a little bit of tea that was in these, it's able to make it again. That's pretty crazy. Um, it's able to pull the nutrients just from the little bit of tea particles in there and make full blends of tea. So that is awesome. Um, ultimately though, who won this? I would say it's a tie, right? Um, so our Nestle, our Arrowhead, when it comes to Arrowhead versus Nestle Pure Life, Arrowhead, did have less on the ORP, right? It was a little bit more, a little bit less oxidative, but it was still oxidative, right? And same with the Nestle Pure Life. It was also oxidative, it was a little bit higher. So in that category, Arrowhead wins. When it comes to the pH, um, there's a lot of stuff, uh, additional chemicals in this water. And so Arrowhead ended up winning in that battle. Uh, so we say Arrowhead won there too, right? Um, and then the last test that we did, we tested for superior hydration. Neither one of them were really able to hydrate you as good. The Nestle Pure Life started to do something a little bit um, more than this one. So in a essence, I would say Arrowhead is better. But if you want the best water for your health, you don't want either. They're not able to hydrate you. Um, they're oxidizing in nature. And so you want something better. And if you truly do want something better, you're serious, you definitely want to check out that resource that I mentioned earlier about the five healthy, um, five properties every healthy water should have. So you can check it out below. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.